Yo, what's happening? What's going on, everybody? This is Quinn from Low Tech Gamers, and yes, I am doing a how-to video on the recurve bow, mostly because this is my most favorite weapon in Far Cry 4, and in my opinion, I think it's the best weapon in Far Cry 4. It is completely silent, very deadly against humans and animals. Uh, three, you can reuse your own ammo, and if you got 30 hours, arrows in your quiver, that's a lot of killing you can do. Plus, you can repick them up. And four is that it's very accurate for being a bow and arrow. For a primitive weapon, it is very good. And I think it's pretty incredible that I find it to be the best weapon and the most used weapon I ever use whenever I play Far Cry 4. Now, the only downfall with the bow is that it's a surefire weapon. And what I mean by that is that you got to make sure that you're going to hit the target before you pull the trigger. And that's the downfall to the major downfall to this weapon is that. You know, it's kind of hard to get into the mentality that, you know, hey, it's better to wait a half a second and make sure you're on target and then pull the trigger than it is just to be trigger happy and just go for it and hope you get it, but you're not really sure. So that's the one mental overcome you need to uh, do when you use the cur recurve bow compared to, you know, coming from like a semi-automatic sniper or a full automatic uh, assault rifle. And that's... You know, that's one of the hardest things to do is to get into that mindset. But once you do, um, you kind of get a knack for it and you start getting a lot used to it and you slow down and you don't really rush your game. You kind of slow down and you pay attention more and you kind of like more strategize. So I'm going to show you guys the do's and don'ts of the recurve bow and hopefully, you know, I'll make it your favorite weapon too. Now the difference between a, a gun and a recurve bow is how you, um, I guess, you walk with it. Um, with normal gun, you don't shoot until you want to shoot. But with a recurve bow, you gotta plan ahead of time. You have to think, hey, I'm gonna be killing a guy here. I should have this thing cocked and ready to go. So when I do see someone, whether it's planned or surprised, I'm prepared. I'm ready to shoot. I'm not gonna be the one getting hit. Now here, it's already cocked. All I have to do is aim and let go of the trigger. It's thinking of you gotta think forward you gotta think ahead of time and take your time to make the shot compensate for the drop of the arrow don't just rush into it and by all means don't be afraid to take your time it's much faster to take a half a second and adjust your sight and make the kill than it is to miss and reload another arrow and then try again so you know just take your time do it right from the first time you won't regret it no, I'm sorry guys if I sound like a broken record. I mean, I'm sure you guys are going like, hey, you've already said that. Stop repeating yourself. But, I mean, that is just, I can't stress it enough because that is the biggest trick with this bow. And I know people told me like, I had to stop using it because, you know, it wasn't working for me. But just stick with it. Um, do not forget, when you make a kill, to pick up your arrows. Even if you have like the biggest quiver, I think it holds 30 arrows, don't quote me, because I'm just guessing off the top of my head, I think I looked at it earlier, but I'm trying to remember, but I think it's 30 arrows, don't go into it thinking, oh my god, I got so many arrows, I don't need to go back and pick them up, no, pick them up, because you will run out. I've had missions where I made it my goal to see if I never miss an enemy with an arrow, if I can make it through the mission without running out of arrows and I still ran out. I mean, I know it depends on the size of the mission and how many enemies there are and whatnot, but you won't regret, you know, making a mental note of it and picking up your arrows and reusing them because, you know, it's just a smart thing to do. I mean, who wants to run out of ammunition? I'm not sure if you guys know this or not now, but um, if you kill any animal with a bow and arrow, you'll actually get a, what's called a clean kill and you'll get double skin when you skin the animal. So just something to keep in mind when you're trying to craft stuff and you want to get, you know, you want to get double skins because obviously it goes faster and less animals you got to look for. So just something to keep in mind. Another useful thing for the recurve bow and just another reason why it's one of my favorites. Now because an arrow travels so slow, you have to do something called leading. And this is actually a real term used. And what that means is when you have a target that's moving, side to side because the arrow moves slow you have to kind of aim ahead of where the target is gonna be so at the point of intersection they meet and you make the kill now another thing that you're gonna have to compensate for is projectile drop and what that is simply is that arrow travels so slow that it takes 
time for it to reach the target and gravity pulls it down i mean yeah an arrow trail is fast but compared to a gun it's actually uh half feet per second than a gun it's actually more than half so you have to kind of lob it in uh exaggeration of words to hit your target thanks for watching guys i hope you liked it um if you do me a favor just uh leave a comment of what you want to see next because i'm trying to think of things that i want to do but now i'm thinking about it i want to just do things you guys want to see so leave a comment what you want to see and i'll try and make it happen actually i will make it happen i'll make it my mission to make it happen so until then i'll see you in the next video thanks guys have a good one